Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today I want to show you some Star Wars merchandise that I did not buy at Walt Disney World. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being here. Uh, recently, recently, uh, I have gone back to Walt Disney World twice. That's right, I went back twice. I went back once with my kids and then once without. And uh, while I was there, of course, I was perusing the Star Wars merchandise and I always wanna come back with something, right? I always wanna get something, but I don't get everything, <laughs> right? There's, you gotta always show restraint because there's always so much there. There's always stuff that you wanna get and then you're debating, do I need this? Where would I put this? And uh, I wanted to at least take some pictures of some things that I saw that I thought were interesting. And I don't think a lot of other people are showing you this merch. I think they always show you like the fun or the exciting or the hot or the trending stuff. And I wanted to show you some things that uh, caught my eye, but of course that I didn't buy. So here's the stuff that I didn't buy at Walt Disney World. So this first shirt, it's long sleeve, it says use the force. Um, I didn't get it because I didn't like the colorings and I don't know what I would do with a long sleeve shirt, but this one I did like. I like the little vintage Star Wars patch in the corner that says 1977, the Star Wars language. Uh, this was part of a uh, series of merchandise, both clothing and uh, accessories that had the vintage action figures on them, and I did like it. I was drawn to it, however, I did not think that the graphics and colors really fit my age. <laughs> I couldn't see a 50s plus year old man uh, wearing these. Uh, but on this next one, it's kind of cool. It says bad guys number one, good guys zero. Obviously it's a Boba Fett shirt. I like Boba Fett, but uh, just the graphics didn't uh, do it for me. This one's cute. Things that tried to eat Luke Skywalker, especially when you look down at the bottom and see that the last thing is an Ewok. Uh, again, the vintage line got Princess Leia with her famous quote, and then off to the side, uh, you can see those same graphics on backpacks. Uh, this water bottle, I really debated back and forth about getting. Um, I really liked it, but I already had a water bottle. Uh, this is a kid shirt, uh, Darth Vader holding the balloon that looks like the Death Star. And then on this one, I really like this too. Ultraviolet ink, and it's kind of a storyboard, kind of a Ralph McQuarrie type drawing with an old school logo in the corner. Uh, another water bottle says resist. It's got the rebel symbol and some X-wings flying off in the background. Here's the less expensive Dejaric board game. It was still expensive. Uh, all wood, really nice pieces, kind of heavy, wouldn't fit in my luggage. Uh, this shirt, again, a Boba Fett shirt. Uh, I liked it, but again, couldn't see myself wearing it, and neither this one. I didn't get uh, I didn't really like the, the turquoise colors. I didn't get it, and then the long sleeves. I did really almost get this. It's a little Black Spire outpost uh, sculpture. It would have gone under my Christmas tree. Uh, my, both my boys were playing with these. They're Stormtrooper binoculars, uh, and they really work. They're kind of cool. Uh, this is what I ended up getting for my Christmas tree, a die cast at at. So he'll go under my Christmas uh, Star Wars themed tree. This I really wanted, a 12 inch posable talking Boba Fett from the new Boba Fett series. Uh, so I, I went back, <laughs> I went back. I was really thinking about the water bottle. So I ended up getting this. And right next to it was this smaller Boba Fett cup that I really wanted, but couldn't see where I would use it. Maybe camping, camping would have been where I got it. Here's the more expensive Dejaric figure set. Uh, this was in the more expensive store. Uh, better looking figures. You can see what the figures look like in this case. But again, where would I have displayed this? I don't know where this would go in my house. And then um, going over to the Christmas store, they had a Christmas uh, musical Ewok uh, display. Really cute, but really big box. The box was so massive. So I didn't really see how I was gonna get it on the plane and get it home. So this is my water bottle. This is uh, the water bottle that I ended up getting. Uh, of course, on the first trip, on the first trip, saw it, wanted it, didn't get it because I already had, I'd already purchased actually a uh, Boba Fett Corksicle that I was walking around with. So it didn't have a reason to get it. So the second time I went, I actually didn't bring my water bottle with me. So I ended up having to get this. Um, price tag still on the bottom. It was $27.99, but, uh, of course, it had my pass holder discount. And uh, the ADAT is right over there, if you can see him right there on the shelf. 
and I also got that diecast Star Wars Millennium Falcon as well. Both of those will go under my Christmas tree. So that, those are my those are my acquisitions. Those are my acquisitions for uh, the year. Plus, I think uh, you should have already seen the uh, Galaxy's Edge spork video that I did before this one. So that was another one of my souvenirs. I know, I know. Really weird souvenirs, right? <laughs> They're weird, weird souvenirs, but uh, maybe that's just because I'm weird. What's your favorite Star Wars uh, merch souvenir that you have picked up from Galaxy's Edge or Disneyland slash Disney World. Tell me down below and uh, I'll see you guys next time. May the force be with you.